Hey guys, this is Steve at Option Income. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is where we talk about stocks and making on an option income. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor, um, so this isn't financial advice. This is just what I'm doing in my account, and you can just learn by watching some of the things I'm doing. Um, so today's video, what I'm wanting to do um, is show you two wheel strategy stocks that are paying around 10% premiums. Um, I'm basically going to be, um, you know, selling puts on these to start out with. That's the first step of the wheel strategy. And I like both of these stocks because of the volatility that they have. And because I can collect a fairly high premium, even though um, you have to have a fairly strong um, stomach to uh, kind of handle the ups and downs of these stocks because uh, both are very volatile and um, I can explain why as I go into this strategy. But I, I essentially just wanted to show you, um, you know, what I'm getting paid in the premiums on these and um, kind of my logic behind um selling premium on on these two stocks so the first one is hood which is h o o d and actually um this is robin hood this is the brokerage where i'm using um every week uh for this account and i decided to go ahead and sell premium on this stock um and and basically what i wanted to show you here is that this is a $45 put. So I bought this pretty much at the money. Um, if I go back here and show you the chart, if I click on a one month, this thing had hit a high of about almost $48. When I picked this up, it was right at about $45. And... Um, I knew definitely that this could drop. I'm, I'm really kind of expecting it to drop, but I wanted to get it at the money. And, and the reason why is, is if I go, you know, back to the option here and show you down here, you can see I collected an average credit per share of $4.90 on this. So, you know, for a $45 uh, strike, my collateral was $4,500. So on $4,500, I collected $490. So that's over 10%. And when I bought this, let's see, I'll show you here my history on this one. I actually did this already. I, I basically sold uh, you know, options on, on Robinhood and then I bought them back cheaper. So. I've already done this once, so I saw the, the stock price drop, and so the premium, of course, went up to this 490, so I decided to sell another put on it, and then again, if this thing um, decays by October 22nd when this thing expires, or the stock just goes up um, over the next few days, and this thing gets cheaper again, then I would just buy it back and just take the profit. So that's kind of what I'm I'm doing on these. Um, but you can see, you know, four hundred ninety dollars. It's over ten percent, and I'm only having to hold this thing less than four weeks. So um, this is what I was wanting to show you on this particular stock. You can collect a very high premium, and my break even. On the Robin Hood, even if I do get assigned this stock, my break even is forty dollars a share. And if you look at this chart, and I show you the three month on this, that's about what it's been bouncing around off of. Is this forty dollar range? Now Robin Hood had dropped as low as thirty five um, coming out of the gate, and but it's been kind of holding this you know, $40 support. Now that doesn't mean that it couldn't fall back into the 30, upper 30s. But for right now, if I have this averaged at about 40, I can sell covered calls on it again. And, you know, with the 
that kind of premium, you know, bring my cost basis down even further. And I do like Robinhood. And here's a couple of the reasons. Um, if I jump over here to Finviz, let me shut this ad down. You know, if I look at the growth, that, that's strictly what I'm looking at here. And you can see earnings per share this year and next year are really strong. And right now it's, you know, a little bit below the SMA 200, um, about 5% below. If I look at the analyst ratings, which again, I just, I just look at, I don't, you know, go by those. But if I look here at August 23rd, you see a whole bunch of initiated analyst ratings. I mean, you're talking Goldman Sachs, J, you know, uh, JMP Securities, JP Morgan, KeyBank, Piper Sandler, Rosenblatt. And they're all kind of saying market outperform. Now this one, JP Morgan said underweight, 35 bucks. So that was the low. But you see some of the other ones, KeyBank, overweight, $55. Um, Rosenblatt, buy, $55. So most of these, if you take the average of these, and we go up here, the target price, um, based on the average for the, all the analysts, is saying about $57 on the stock. Now, again, I'm not myself. Um, I'm just using that as a point of reference. But I'm okay with it bouncing around this, you know, $35 to $50 range. And I'm locking in with this option. I'm locking in a, um, let me see here. Go back to the option. I'm locking in a break-even price here of 40 bucks, And then I plan on, if I get assigned the shares and I'm averaged at 40, writing a covered call to try to bring my cost basis down even further into that upper to mid 30-ish range on this stock. And then, you know, pretty much from there, just continue writing covered calls. That would be the strategy. So that's kind of what I'm looking at doing on this Robinhood stock. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show you my logic on that. Now the next stock that I, I'm doing um, something similar on is, let me go into it. Okay, this stock is uh, Riot. And Riot uh, basically mimics um, the usually the price of Bitcoin, which has been staying steady in this $40,000 range. Um, you know, a lot of people have been talking about towards the end of the year, Bitcoin's going to go up in price. And so using this stock right now, um, it's fallen back um, to a fairly low amount. Let's look at it on Finviz real quick. If I just type in Riot, you can see basically this thing kind of goes up and down in this channel. So it goes up as high as 40 in the channel and it's kind of been bouncing off this 25-ish range here. So if I was looking at that, I was kind of going, okay, this the low of this kind of where it's been bouncing is around this 25. So I did another at the money um, selling a put at the 25. And again, this is for an October 22nd expiration date. Now I sold two contracts um, with the $25 strike. So that is, um, you know, about $5,000 in collateral. And this is an average credit per share of two dollars and five cents so um you know on five thousand i'm bringing in about four hundred and ten dollars so you know pretty close to that ten percent it's not quite on this one um but you know the other one the hood uh basically brought me in 490 which was a little over ten percent so on average between the two of these um when i add them together it's about a ten percent in four weeks 
So I look at that as being pretty good. And my break-even price on Riot, you could see that kind of bottom that it was bouncing off of was 25. You know, I'd get this at a 22.95 break-even. And then I could sell covered calls on this, or I could just hold the shares um, in expectation of this thing uh, going up with the price of Bitcoin towards the end of the year. Or, you know, sell out of the money covered calls on it also and, and you know, collect money on it while I'm waiting um, for it to rise. So um, that's the strategy. So anyway, on these two contracts here, I collected about 410 on the hood option, I collected 490. So between the two, it was about $900. And um, my collateral uh, is about $9,500 because it's $45 strike price on hood. And this is about 5,000 in collateral for these two contracts. So just about 10% in four weeks that I will collect on this. And I'm okay if I get assigned the stock at those break-even prices that I was showing you. At this $22.95, and on Hood, it would be um, at about $40 is where I would be getting it. So anyway, guys, um, just wanted to show you these two uh, kind of wheel strategy stocks that are paying me um, right around 10% uh, premiums. And um, again, this isn't financial advice. Uh, this isn't a recommendation. This is just, you know, two stocks that I'm using in my account. And um, I wanted to show you kind of my logic and what I was doing with these. And essentially what, what the ultimate goal would be is using the wheel strategies. I'm selling these puts. You basically want to sell them until you get assigned and then I would turn around and sell covered calls on them. So um, I liked the price ranges that these were kind of in in these channels and feel like, you know, um, they would be good ones where you could collect a really nice high premium, um, you know, over time uh, if I wanted to and, and, you know, to grow the account a little quicker. So anyway, that's that's my logic on this. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave me a comment. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Hey, if you like this content, make sure you smash that like button. It really helps the channel. And uh, share this out to other people that uh, you, you, know, you might think would be interested. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And make sure you watch all of our videos.